Hello guys, uh, welcome back to uh, Heroes Charge. Uh, so I just want to quickly talk about a, uh, the uh, totem system today. Uh, so last week where I was in, incorrect in talking about them, I wasn't um, entirely correct either. Um, mainly uh, the uh, Sekiro totem. So, so before uh, the, this totem right here, uh, the Sekiro totem, it was mostly, uh, it was for all female heroes and it increased their uh, magical re resistance and uh, energy increase. But right now, it's a it actually changed to uh, all strength hero and uh, agile heroes. And uh, it actually uh, give them a physical attack boost. Uh, right now, my tree is at level 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. Um, so the attack boost is at a uh, 779. But if I increase it, um, with these tributes up top right here, uh, if I increase it to uh, level 78, that number increased to, uh, 794, right? If I increase it one more time, you know, it, it increased to 809, you know? And, uh, within this tree, if you go to the, uh, the aura section that, if you increase these uh, aura, like um, it actually give you additional boosts on top of the uh, boosts that uh, the tree already gave you, you know? So uh, if I increase the attack damage, uh, I would just hit this one and it increase the attack. And if I want the physical increase to go up, like the physical crit, I hit this one and it actually go up a little bit more. Uh, I'm okay with my secure tree being at this level so therefore I don't want to spend all my tribute you know at one time you know um, yeah but that's that's uh, that's mainly part of the uh, the changes from the previous uh, totem system and uh, another totem that changes the uh, the red to the red lotus totem before it was for all male but right now it's gonna be uh, for all intellect heroes and uh, I do have a lot of intellect heroes uh, therefore I want to upgrade this totem a lot but you know currently I don't have enough of these uh, red lotus tribute to uh, increase the tree level you know so um, Right now, my tree level is at uh, 49 over 60. If I were to increase it to 60 over 60, it will go to like a level two. And uh, at every uh, level increase, like 30, 60, 90, you're gonna use, you're gonna need these high tribute, like advanced tribute to, to do the breakthrough. But you know, that's the same as before. <clears throat> so within this tree, there's the uh, aura that gives you magical power and magical crit. Like right now, it, it's maxed out because you know, you know, I was favoring those. Therefore, you know, I try to max it out. Um, this, this, uh, there's also the balance tree, but the balance tree is, is mainly the same as before. It, it gives you a HP increase, um, you know, per second HP regen, and within that, you know, there's actually the uh, the strength increase, the intellect increase, and the uh, the agility increase and this tree is for all heroes you know and uh you know there are a few tributes uh there are a few totems that uh as you see right here like i have the wolf totem but i don't use it a lot anymore like i don't use it at all you know and they actually changed the heroes in, within it uh, so before it has like the nine tail fox and whatnot but right now you know these are the only heroes that it helped and uh the only hero I see is actually a little bit useful here is the uh, maybe the poison one and uh, the totem itself it's um, it gives physical attack and a uh, magical power increase like I don't see myself using this totem that much you know and uh, for all the the rest of the totems um, I didn't unlock the uh, marksman totem yet simply because I don't have enough tribute to unlock it yet and uh, if it's not at a high high level you know then I don't see myself using it you know i unlocked the mermaid one but as you can see right now i don't have an attribute to to lower it up to to use it to to make it to be effective you know but um let's move towards the uh elite war boss right here 
and we're gonna use our three top totem uh, mainly the uh, the balance totem the secure totem and the uh, red lotus totem uh, we're gonna use all three of them in in different instances and to see you know if uh, these totem really uh, do have a big impact in the uh, damage output of these uh, of these boss war So uh, we're attacking the boss right now with the um, the all balance totem. Uh, so I have the uh, black tulip, the sea dragon, vengeance spirit, stargazer, and a uh, me mechanical Barbie. So uh, the uh, the all balance totem is at uh, level eighty. So it's putting out decent damage. Um, speed up to four right now. But uh, you know, you know, this this totem is mainly used for HP regeneration. So um, you know, we're not too optimistic about its uh, damage output. So there you go. It's uh, it's only putting out like uh, 1.36, like 1.36. <clears throat> so uh, let's try with the uh, secure totem right now. It's it's at uh, 82. So uh, let's, let's let's see how uh, this totem would do against the boss. So the, the first one was at 1.36, right? So this one... Alright, set it up. This this one's gonna be for agility and uh, strength hero. So uh, our two agility heroes, the uh, Vengeance Spirit and a uh, Black Tulip. And uh, wow, the two damage dealer died already. <clears throat> so this one is putting out 1.4 for the first try. So 1.4, so slightly a little bit better than the uh, the uh, the all balance totem. But you know I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed because uh, our hero, you know, they die a little bit early. But uh, let's try now with the uh, the um, red lotus one. This one it's only at level 50, but we'll give it a try. Um, so this one it benefits the uh, int like the int hero. Uh, so the int heroes are mainly. Uh, the Queen of Sea Dragon, the uh, Stargazer, and the Mechanical Barbie in the back. But uh, we'll see uh, how much damage <clears throat> it can put out. This one's only at level 50 though, because I don't have all the tribute to level up, level it up yet. But uh, you know, down the line, uh, <clears throat> I, I see, uh, I see to you know, I might invest a little bit in this totem. So uh, it's giving out 1.4 also, you know, uh, around the same as the. Uh, the the uh, the secure totem, but uh, let's try with another team right now. Um, so we we know that for for output we should put the secure and a uh, red lotus uh, totem, right? The app, the all balance, it, it, it doesn't work for damage, you know. So we're gonna we're gonna try with the death mage right now. So this one's with the secure totem. Uh, my highest that I put out was one point nine, and co co co. Um, by coincidence, it's, it's with this uh, totem, the Sekiro totem. Uh, let's see if we can replicate that. <clears throat> right, maybe we put on point two. It's a little bit better. Hmm. All right, come on, can we, oh, I died already. So this team put on 1.4, oh, which is not bad. It's not doing the 1.9 like I, you know, I want, I want it to. But uh, we will try with the red right now. And sometimes just the RNG, you know. Sometimes you get some lucky RNG. You enter the battle, you do a lot of damage. Sometimes your your RNG is not that good. Like you don't, you don't, you don't do that good, you know. So it's, it's by chance sometimes too. <clears throat> but right now it's with the red lotus totem. We can see that uh, our Queen of Sea Dragon is still living. 
live a little bit more, live a little bit longer. <clears throat> well, this one's putting out a lot. It's putting out like 1.8. You know, just by surviving, it put out 1.8. So, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm leaning towards the, uh, the uh, Sakura and uh, the Red Lotus totem. You know, uh, for for damage in the boss war. <clears throat> like, I, like I said, I did 1.985, as you can see right here. I did it with the Sakura totem, and uh, for my ranking right now, I'm at uh, Master Four. So, for Master Four, I have. Uh, just 200 coins, which is pretty good. It's a, it's a big improvement. Yeah. So I think going forward, like, uh, you know, I'll upgrade my Red Lotus totem a little bit more and I'll uh, continue to work on the Sekiro totem. But as for the all balance, you know, I'm not going to use it for, you know, I won't invest much in it. Um, so, uh, our, our next, uh, our next trial, it might be in the, uh, in the boss war you know i might have to go in and change all this uh all this totem out to to see um if i can uh rank a little bit higher i'm currently at rank four right now uh, let's see if i uh, change all the totem out i rank a little bit higher few moments later all right uh so i went in and uh changed all the totems um you know i changed them to uh the secure totem and the uh the red lotus to totem like you know mixing them up uh, some of them i leave uh, the balance too for the team that you know it's too low level that i know won't be doing much i just leave uh, the the old balance totem in but mostly i change uh, i change many of the totems uh so now um we're, we're gonna see if we uh, can do a little bit more damage so here we go auto challenge bam <laughs> Yeah, oh, actually see it actually bump us up to uh Wow, we did pretty good to bump us up to uh, 60, uh, 66, and uh, we're now <laughs> rank one. So you know those 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 totem they actually do make a big difference. Uh, before I didn't notice, but you know after I noticed it, you know I made the change and, uh, and, and made it work. <laughs> so um, I recently um, awakened uh, my uh, poison one to uh, plus one. Uh, you can see the clip here. Bam! Right there. Ah, okay. Uh, so his uh, there, there goes his growth. Uh, went up maybe a little bit more than uh, double up, right? Uh, but if you take a look at his stats, um, his HP is now around ninety-eight k. Attack damage twenty-two k. Magic power. Well, just, we're just gonna go by the overall magic power right here uh 36 36k i think it was like a five uh 5k jump or nearly 6k jump in power uh if you awaken him and maybe 25k or maybe 22k um hp increase but uh if you take a look at his uh his stats for his training field you know he's pretty decked out yeah, I invested a lot of uh, training in him. He, he's max train in the training field. You can see right there, 3740 attack damage, armor class 313, uh, physical crit 362. And for his academy boost, um, you know, I learned all the skill that uh, <clears throat> they had to do with him. Uh, I think it was at book six. And um, on those books, uh, for one of his, like, for his, his latter skills, right? Some of them can cost up to like, a mil plus in resource so you know it took me uh, quite a lot of resource but uh we you know we got it together and um you know um max him out in the uh in the uh in the heroes camp you know but uh let's take him to the uh the outland portal here to try him out in the um the robot fighter uh portal and see uh see if you know he's really that good you know 
I, I I'm, I'm gonna go with this setup right here. It, it worked for me uh, without him. So with him, I think it'll be a plus, you know, not a minus, since he is awakened one. So we're gonna give it a try. I have it at two right now, uh, two speed. So uh, I put the poison one in there, the poison fang to, to, to freeze the robot. The poison one, you know, hopefully he's the damage dealer. Um, so uh, I don't do that much ultimate because the ultimate is actually slow down the time. I only do the ultimate for the uh, the inferno, the poison one, <laughs> and maybe the, uh, the timekeeper. I think the timekeeper, the time traveler, like he he stun locked the uh the robot too i think because without him the the robot kind of kind of go crazy sometimes too and of course the eye thing turned to a snake you know um we're gonna give it a shot if it doesn't work then it, we'll move on you know wait all right so it, it didn't work then we we fail uh, but take a look at the stats um uh, wow as you can see here uh the one that does the most damage is the uh Inferno, he's not even awakened. He does like three times the damage that the uh, the poison one do. You know, Th doesn't doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, it is what it is. You know, um, you know, uh, maybe he didn't. He, maybe I need to do something different. Maybe I need to add in the uh, the totem. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, we'll work on this over time. So uh, we're gonna take him to the, the Outland portal today. Uh, see if he could help us with the, the team. So uh, we did dif difficulty 50 without him. So let's see if uh, with him, we uh, can three star this level. Uh, so there, there go our team right there. Uh, put in the totem. So the poison one, he has the uh, legendary skill that, you know, give the whole team extra HP. So hopefully, you know, uh, he'll uh, He'll make us survive longer and then, you know, able to three star this. <clears throat> Bam. Okay, so our tank just died. I look like the whole team's gonna die too. Yeah, so I'm a little disappointed, you know. Uh, we thought upgrading him, we could uh, do a little bit better in the. Uh, the, the the outland portals but you know it don't look like he can uh you know, he can move the he can move the needle you know so yeah just a little bit just a little bit disappointed ah. 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 so it's uh sunday night and uh you know the uh the event is almost uh, closing, so um, with the uh, current event, the artifact event, like um, we don't have that much uh, artifact to to level up or whatever, so we can't really participate in it. Uh, we, we didn't really score any any good. We only got rank thirty five. But uh, <clears throat> if any of you out there are, are like um, you know uh, enchanting your artifacts and stuff, if um, if you need like. Uh, an artifact of certain kind i mean the uh the holy water of such that you don't have uh what you can do is you can uh you know that like uh higher holy water can uh, break down and um onto a low, lower level right so you just, just go to um your items let me pull up those uh holy water uh, my inventory is so messed up but if you see if you see right here right the super the super holy water it breaks down to the uh the special holy water and the special holy water it breaks down to the purple one the senior and if you sell the senior you break down into the blue one and if you sell into the blue one you can break down into these uh green one that you can uh enchant your lower art artifacts right i'm guessing like most of these guys i'm guessing that uh the reason they score so high is maybe uh they are enchanting every weapon possible you know what i mean because or uh at every artifact that you open up you you do get 100 points you know so if, if you want to play the uh, artifact system like that um unfortunately we, we don't you know, we're still saving our artifacts or whatnot like 
you go to my artifacts right here, I don't really have them all that high level. My only high level ones maybe the black tulip. I find that these artifacts are very hard to gather, so for me, at least, you know. But like I said, there's that trick to break down the artifact. So if you need a lesser artifact, I mean a holy water, a, a lesser kind, you can always use the top kind to break it down, you know. Um, yeah, and uh, re regarding the uh, <clears throat> the boss war, I think we're at Master 2 right now. With that, we should get uh, 150 coins. Yeah, and uh, next up, I'm um, we'll going to the arena and show you. Currently, we're at uh, rank 443. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll be there until 8 o'clock. But uh, I'm going to show you the battles that uh, we uh, we took to uh, to get it there. <laughs> So starting off, uh, we already lost like two battles in a row. So that probably took us down to like um, maybe rank 800. You know, if you if you look right here, you know we took we took two two loss. Uh, uh, but uh, after that, uh, we kind of string together some wins. Uh, that was able to get us into uh, the 400. So uh, the first fight is this one right here. With uh, he's level 136. Uh, his team is fairly not that strong. That's why uh, I was confident that uh, I was able to beat it. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're not gonna we're not gonna reveal this this fight real quick. Uh, this guy is only one level 129. Uh, his team is fairly okay. Um, I don't see anything crazy about it. So uh, let's save some let's save some time. Let's move to uh, the last two fights. Uh, so this fight right here, I was probably around maybe uh maybe 600 trying to get into the 500 so i probably need like two fights right winning this fight and the next fight so uh this first guy right here uh, his team's pretty strong he has a um a little depth voice um a six lunar guardian the little disease bringer the um the swordsman and the uh and that little uh a little chipmunk in the back that little chipmunk can you know turn your character into a squirrel or whatever so he's kind of like you know a new uh, you know new ones to deal with you know so you, you never know how it go with that one but uh we're gonna go into the fight um so uh beginning uh so we both have the vengeance so you know they both got stuck in the back but uh I'm hoping my team would do some damage because his team is uh, pretty strong with that six lunar guardian. But there you go, there you go my uh, <coughs> sorceress with the power move, and then the nine tail. She moved in the back and pretty much killed his whole team with her super move. But like I said, that that little crazy squirrel, he's still r jumping around like he' about to do something. So you know, it, it could go down to the wire because every time he he does that move, he kind of like you know regen his H hp and stuff so you know and we kind of do need this t this two win to uh to get into the 500 because um after that two loss in the beginning we had we had to reset you know so there we go bam bam so so now it's down to three my character plus his two as you can see right here it's a pretty close fight like i didn't really i don't, I don't even know if we, we were gonna win this one you know and um you know, it's just the battle of the swords and 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 the depth voice. You never know. You never know which way it could go. You know what I mean? And uh, I mean, it's only like maybe thirty minutes left, and I really don't want to spend any more resets. You know, I find it, it it's a lot. It's a, it's a little bit tough on Sunday to get ranked. You know, like on the regular day, it's it's pretty easy, but um, on on Sunday, it, it, everyone try to rank, so it's, it's it's pretty hard. So you know we lucked out, and so we lucked out, and uh, we were able to do more damage. So we won that uh, that fight. 
<clears throat> and this second one right here, this second team is like my best team. So after that first win, I was pretty confident that I could get this win too. Um, <clears throat> so there we go. I, I could have used the cleric, but uh, I decided to use the uh, the death knight. But this this fight came down pretty close to his football dude kind of ram us and do a whole bunch of damage and uh his team um he got a plus four stargazer so she does a lot of damage and i think with these two left that stargazer kind of wiped out my whole team you see well one of them died already but she's gonna wipe the rest of them out and this fight yeah it came came uh, came down to the wire too so so this 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 last fight was pretty close and this fight, I think, got me into like maybe uh, 550 or so. So after this fight, I only need like another 50 points to, to, to get into uh, 500. But as you can see right here, that uh, plus four Stargazer is still alive. And she about to do an O, but then I mean, she died. But still, she, she took a, she took whatever that's left of her. She, she tried to kill my team too, you know? All right. So, um... With that, we only need like maybe 50 more points to get in. So we hit this last fight <coughs> with uh, Russell. Just froze. Few moments later. So the game just froze. That's why I had to restart to get back in. But um, this last match uh, to get me to the 500 is with. Uh, Corel. I mean, his team's okay, and I only I only need fifty points. Therefore, I picked the uh, you know the plus fifteen points team. They, they usually like the easier team, but uh, we're going to here. Most of his heroes are plus one only, so uh, you know I'm I'm pretty confident that you know I can get into the five hundred beating this team. So here we go. So we're just there again, battle of the two. Uh, Vengeance Spirit, then um, <clears throat> my Nine Tails probably uh, jump in the back and do all that damage to his uh, back line. Yeah, that move is crazy. If she can get into the back, you know, she uh, she does a lot of magic uh, magic damage. Just disrupt the team. There you go. See, that, that move probably wipe them all out. Yeah, that move is pretty strong. Uh, that Nine Tails is pretty good. I use her uh, in a lot of, like, instances against the game. You know what I mean? Like... You know pve against the environment you know all those trials and stuff so she's she's been good to me but like going going forward i, I don't think I, I i need to upgrade her anymore okay so you know there are a lot more heroes <laughs> that you can upgrade but yeah she's pretty good thus far um yeah and with this with this last power move right here i, I could wipe out his uh terran swordsman all right so, uh, so this last one here, uh, the, the uh, two out of two battle. Let me see. Uh, so this is my best team. Uh, his team is almost similar, but he has a he has a healer. So, um, unfortunately, I, I don't have my chaplain awakened yet because you know I'm too late to the game. You know what I mean? Like I have very limited stones, and you know with those limited stones, uh, I can't afford to awaken a chaplain. You know, so. Uh, yeah, my chaplain is pretty weak, but yeah, but his team is pretty weak and going against our best team. Yeah, he had no chance. Yeah Yeah, so uh, yeah with, with these fight I was able to get into the 500 443 hopefully uh, with 15 minutes left or so hopefully uh, No one touches us or they're gonna be a problem, you know, but you know, hopefully uh, we can finish out that rank and get that reward and um, We'll see what the next week uh, What the next events are So uh, Grand Arena just ended. Uh, we finished uh, 441, 680 gems and uh, two books, uh, five 540 coins. Uh, we're gonna hit claim here. Uh, move on. Uh, it looks like it's it's gonna be the uh, Arcanum event now. So uh, yeah, we we gonna be ready for that. Uh, but if we look at our mailbox here, uh, so it's the championship. And uh, now it's the uh, rewards and uh, the rewards for the elite war boss. And I'll grab the ticket too. Uh, if you look at the limited offer here, um, 
over at the elite war boss uh, every two days uh, I used to get a uh, hundred uh, free coins. Uh, let me pull it up right here. Yep uh, But then I don't anymore. So I asked you cool. What's going on? And they say uh, it's a testing content Like only some server get the free hundred coins now. Like I'm not really sure what that is, but uh, I don't anymore uh, Wow, but it looks like it's the uh, the brave dudes here. Wow uh, Well, yeah, uh, so uh, we save up uh, 51,000 gems uh, so uh, yeah, we're ready for the brave duel. It's gonna be for 14 days, so it's it's, it's a lot of it's, it's gonna be a lot of days. Uh, yeah, and uh, the time you put into it, but yeah, we're, we're ready. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching the video. You know, drop a subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.